Hello awesome people this is Pravidas from Tutometer and you are most welcome in our channel. So basically today we are going to look at hard surface modeling. Uh, basically what is hard surface modeling? Hard surface modeling is a model uh, which has its corner to be smooth. Okay so uh, basically in this physical world we have everything whether it's a knife or uh, whether it's a blade every object have some kind of smoothness okay uh, let me show you first of all if I create a box here in uh, Maya so as you see its corner are too sharp okay as you see its corner are too sharp it doesn't have any kind of smoothness so how do we make it smooth so first of all I, uh, I'm going to show you how to smooth an object just click on object and press 3 as you see it becoming a kind of sphere which is not desirable as we want but if I press 1 again it going to show you the perfect square or we can say a perfect box uh, so how do we get a very sh sharp uh, surface hard surface model look on this box so basically what happens a uh, computer doesn't know exactly whether you want how much of smoothness how much of uh, unsmoothness so you have to tell computer that uh, in which area I want smoothness in which area I want hard surface okay so for that we are going to use uh, some kind of restrictions which is used by uh, Maya and give you a very good result okay so first of all I'm going to click uh, the box and here in edit mesh tool you get uh, in mesh tool sorry you get a uh, option insert edge loop tool basically what it does it puts a loop of edges okay as I click on any edges as I click and drag it give you a loop of edges okay so what happens you just have to look at that uh, the corner edges should have uh, one left uh, restriction and the right restriction basically it's only put it on the corners of any object so the smoothness get restricted up to this line okay so I'm going to put this line on every corner of the box so I'm getting a proper smoothness and proper hard surface model as you see top bottom in every edge I have to watch very carefully whether every edges have its left side or right side as you see here these edges have its left side uh, uh, loop but not right side so I'm going to put one in right side and after that when I put it all the directions okay now it's fine now it's completed I'm going to uh, right click and object mode as you see I'm click on box and 3 when I put 3 you see the corners have uh, looking so realistic as before okay if I uh, give you uh, another box just for example purpose so as you see uh, this one looking so realistic than this box so just because of restriction and just because of hard surface model just because of the restrictions it giving us a very realistic look of box so this will help uh, this will helps you uh, making a lot of objects so whether you making anything in this world this concept is going to work on that object whether it's character model whether it's uh, uh, background model whether it's prop model so everywhere you need to put some restriction to make this uh, look like real same thing we can do with a cylinder or we can do with a sphere or any other kind of objects I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to create a cylinder and as you see here uh, first of all I'm going to show you how to remove these triangles as you see uh, every cylinder have uh, it on its bottom and its top side some kind of cylinders uh, sorry some kind of triangles so I'm going to click on that I don't want uh, uh, so much of uh, segments I'm going to uh, reduce it so simply go to ch channel box layer and here you can see poly cylinder one go to here and just reduce the uh, subdivision axis to 8 okay it gives you a nice look 8 is enough for making any kind of round uh, object uh, so there is two ways to make it smooth first of all if I play uh, uh, 3 as you see it not giving you a desirable result so press 1 and I just duplicate it control D so I can show you the proper way first of all you can delete all the you know upper edges of the uh, cylinder so I'm going to delete it select one by one and now the last one now if I going to uh, select it and press 3 as you see it giving you a perfect circular shape so basically as you see this not giving you the perfect shape just because of the upper triangles if upper triangles are not uh, uh, performed in uh, very well manner it not going to give you the desirable result so I'm going to press 1 
so first of all i am going to remove these triangles on upper side of this lender so just clicking by vertex right click and going to vertex select the vertex shift right click and go to uh, chamfer vertex what it does it does uh, it does uh, you know uh, remove that particular one vertex and divide it into eight different vertex so that's it i am going to first of all see uh, is this a uh, quad no it's not quad is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's an octagon which is not uh, taken by maya so first of all i am going to go to face and select the face and uh, mesh tool here we get multi cut tool i am just going to connect the opposite and press enter just click on the vertex click enter okay as you see now it's uh, quad 1 2 3 4 it divided on the four quads same in uh, back side i'm not going to show you and just delete on it you get a uh, idea of that so i i okay fine now as you see i'm show you on the box uh, we need to be restrict the smoothness of this object so i'm going to click on object mesh tools here we get insert as tool and just put a restriction over here and the second restriction over here okay fine i think it's enough for smoothness so i'm going to object mode right click and object mode and click on the object and press 3 as you see it giving you a fine hard surface which is really uh, looking nice to me so same you can do with any other object if you have a uh, what we say i think it's a cone so as you see here is a cone and if you want uh, this same to be a hard surface just go to polygon and put eight segments which is enough i think so uh, and next as you see this is one two three four this is again octagon so i have to click a face and go to edit uh, edit mesh here i get multi cut tool click on that click the opposite vertex press enter click on that click the vertex and press enter as you see it's again becoming a quad which is very nice to me and uh, again if i press 3 you see it's not giving you the <laughs> shape but it give you a more the kind of thing uh, which is taken by lord ganesha so uh, i'm going to press 1 and now i just take mesh tool and here insert edge loop tool and put a loop oh sorry uh, as you see it's a triangle as you see here this is a triangle this is not a quad so the restriction will not come as you want so i just have to undo it i'm going to make sure there's any nothing vertex fine so there is no vertex i'm going to upper vertex and right click chamfer it as you see it's becoming so down to earth but i just take that one and again it's octagon face click the face mesh tool oh sorry mirror cut i just put it uh, multi cut sorry again mesh tool multi cut i just took click press enter i think so i have done something wrong no it's okay just click on that press enter now you get a perfect quad everywhere quad 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 this is basically so press r and just make it too small so it look likes a cone now as you see it look like a cone but if you have a height issue you can press w and pull it upside down now as you see everywhere we have a quad 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 so we just have to put some restriction over here so i'm going to mesh tool insert as loop tool i'm going to put a mesh here and same i uh, insert loop tool here okay dude everything's fine let's see what is the result press 3 as we see this result is not so desirable i don't think so it's a good result for to me so i'm going to press 1 so as uh, i show you in first video in uh, uh, in the box video uh, we have restriction on the left side and right side but uh, here we have only restriction on left side but we don't have in the right side so how to make res uh, restriction here uh, let me show you one trick is I put uh, insert edge loop tool and put a loop as you see loop are not coming as we want okay if I put something like that it not going to give us a proper result if I going to show you 
it not giving us a proper result here is a restriction is a line which is not desirable so what we have to do I'm going to show you a trick how to make this kind of object smooth just go to face mode right click face mode and select shift 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 and you finally get uh, all faces selected just click on shift and right click and here you get smooth sorry extrude face just click on the center pivot button any this button and go to scale mode and scale it a little bit okay now as you see you have restriction in all left and right left and right left and right left and right same we have to do on the top of the corner just face mode shift 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 click and finally shift right click extrude face center of pivot scale and scale a little bit as you see now we have restriction in all the way and if I press 3 I get a proper hard surface cone which is really nice so guys if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do it right now and don't forget to click on the bell icon and put it to all you can follow me on facebook and twitter too so please tell me how do you like my video or not if you does please give us a thumbs up if you want paid dvd series of any tutorial please mail me at given mail id in description this is pravida signing off